Ladies and gentlemen, there's no man smarter whenever it comes to defensive back play and defensive play than the man that's about to break down some film. The host of Everything DB, front of the program, ladies and gentlemen, Everything DB with Darius J. Butler. Yes, let's go. D. Bush. D. Bush. Let's go. How's the mic? Huh? Good? Sounds good. good. Right, huh? We go, got a new. Go. Oh, I just want to let you know we got a new a um, a new little satellite what? antenna. There it is, antenna what? up here for your thing. It used to be down here behind Connor's ass, oh. and the more uh, lunges that Connor would do, the thicker his ass would get. Yeah. Maybe the antenna wasn't able to get through as much, so we moved that son bitch up to the sky. So we should be 100 percent good because what you're speaking, the people need to hear. Need to. And what AQ speaking, the people need to hear. Amen. But it's not just the people that need to hear. It. We need to hear it. Hell yeah. Let's we got go. some good stuff today. Hell yeah. Some good shit. Let's get to it. First one, we're gonna have Derek Stingley. Mm -hmm. Now, hey, every every teammate of his it seems since going to LSU, and they probably had one of the probably top three most talented football rosters ever in college. They say this was the best guy on the field. Now, it's a quarters coverage. You got Stingley, you got the safety here. The way you're gonna attack quarters, and Russ, if you can rewind it to the beginning, Russell Wilson actually checks to this play because this is the perfect play to run against quarters, is a dig and go. You get your big time receiver, he runs the dig, he fakes it and goes up the field, quarterback pumps it. Because you know with the coverage, how it's built in, the safety is built to drive that. And technically the corner should be over the top for the double move, but offense is rarely run it. You don't see you saw earlier in the season with Will Levis, his first uh big game with D Hop. Mm -hmm. One of his touchdowns was dig and go. So it looks great. They got what they wanted from the safety, but you never expect this corner to actually be, because this is something you go over oh. time and time again, and you maybe maybe see it once, maybe twice during the season. So for a young corner to get back in there, didn't start off the season healthy, what do you say, four interceptions last three games, something yeah. like that? Mm -hmm. Unbelievable play in this game. You can see, obviously, fourth quarter, so this is a big moment. This was a close game, came down to the wire. So it's a big-time play from Derek Stingley on the pump and go, the dig and go. And a good job from uh, Petrie, too, Doing his responsibility, he's responsible for the dig route, for the curl route, to be underneath it, to pick it off. So he jumped it. But, I mean, just um, and look at that finish. It's a great finish. That's why the guy got drafted number three overall a few years ago out of LSU. Big time play from Sting. There are great secondaries, but like Petrie, Ward, and Stingley, they're probably are they up there now? Good player. Stevie the, Nelson, too. Don't Stevie forget Nelson. about Stevie Nelson. He's been playing some good yeah. football for them, been playing good football a while. You run it back for a little bit. This is something I love. I love not, I always talk about verbal and nonverbal communication for defenses. It's more important for the nonverbal communication at home if Houston is actually you know, put, hey, put, putting ass in JJ the said they were sold out. Okay. okay. Of course he did. So, he posted that picture. Mm. He said, we sold out. Yeah, so yeah, not the nonverbal sure. communication here, you'll see him tap his, you know, tap his right thigh, you know, maybe just confirming the coverage. He's giving this now, and then he gives something else. He's going to tap his thigh. And you see the nonverbal communication between those guys. So love to see it. Oh, Judy. Boom. What, down here at the bottom? Yeah. 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 That's the tough part because that's on that's a wheel route that out and up. That's for the, on that quarters defender, quarter flat defender. Did you see Russ, you got the look he wanted. Bring the tight end a little bit. Yep. Great job. I mean, there was a, there was a place where he, but he didn't want to throw it because of this guy over you, here. You can't you can't throw it that far over because you do have that backside safety who can overlap. The play, I mean, Jerry Judy going up that sideline running out and up on the linebacker would have been the better place to go with this ball, but Russ wants the home run in this situation. You linebackers are too slow, AJ. <laughs> That's right. Well, huh. I agree that out and up is a, a brutal situation for that backer to be in right there. And as I mentioned earlier, quarters coverage, once again, quarters coverage down here. This is fourth quarter, 16 seconds left, third and goal. So you got quarters coverage and a typical adjustment in quarters coverage. Once you have, can you rewind it uh, back to the beginning? Versus a bunch. That's three three receivers close together. Once it's bunch, you get it on defense. The adjustment is a box. So the, you're high outside of the box of the corner. You're high inside, so you take the deep inside cut. Deep outside cut. You have the low outside cut. cut. You have the low inside cut. So these four defenders over those three offensive players, that's going to be the coverage, and then you just kind of play them as they come out. So you play here. This is Jimmy Ward here as a safety. Steven Nelson on the outside. So now the routes develop down the field. Got Judy going across. Safety drops him, leaves him with the linebacker, makes his way back out while Russ is avoiding a sack. Mm. And now he's – so Russ sees him right now. He's open. He knows he has this guy who on paper is supposed to occupy that safety. Jimmy Ward does a great job letting him go, getting back to his uh, responsibility, making a big suit. A game-winning interception right here. A lot, of trust, a lot of trust is passing that off to the linebacker there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, but look where we are. We're on the nine-yard line. 
So you got Jerry Judy, once again, that matchup again, 53 on Judy. You only got 19 yards, and uh, you're not worried about the deep ball here. So he's in a, a, a decent, you know, position. Jimmy Ward, great eyes, great feel, getting back there, putting his foot back in the ground, and then going up and get this ball. Did Judy and uh, 85, I don't know if that's Troutman or not, do they know the play? Because off the line, they're, they're like throwing their hands up in the air as if they might not know it. See why. On that other was a little hesitation coming just off. Both of them, they put their hands up at the snap of the ball. Like, what the hell are we supposed to do here? Right here, <laughs> they're both just like uh, a little bit, a little confusion. This was a uh, kind of. I don't know if they had any timeouts. I don't think they did. Yeah, I don't. So it was yeah. kind of like one of those rush situations where it's on obviously the quarterback to get the play out there, and then he has to commit. We saw it earlier this year when Tyler Lockett was confused mm -hmm. on that play because the quarterback gets it out, and you got to relay that call. So maybe it was some confusion there, but a great job execution. You know, if offense don't got this shit together, hey, mm -hmm. fuck them. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, jeez. Amen. 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 Big time play. Good pressure. Yeah. Three picks on yeah. Russ. Got yeah, I mean, this, this one's, you know, you're trying to make something happen, but it is third and goal. You break that sack. You know, I've never been in that position to quarterback. I throw it away, and then, hey, we get in the huddle. We call our best play, fourth and goal. Sure. We got a chance from the nine-yard line. But, you know, Russ has made plenty of those plays. Another guy who has made plenty of those plays, Patrick Mahomes. Situation, Keyshawn Nixon, slot defender, does a great job. Sky Moore in the slot. Once again, quarterback sees the look that he wants. I know what I want. Pick route. So he wants him to come pick him, get some traffic. If he goes underneath, you throw it over the shoulder up top for Sky Moore. If he goes over the top, you put it back shoulder. These DBs were prepared. I believe that's Ballantyne up there, 37. Keyshawn Nixon in the slot. Young player playing some snaps out there. Important snaps. Big Sunday night football game. Executed properly. Scott Moore sees that it's covered, so I don't think he thinks Patrick's going to throw him the ball. Patrick does. He beats him to the spot. Great ball skills. Big time play. Ooh, Ooh. what a great catch. catch! Yeah, big time play. I mean, I love seeing DBs with great ball skills. Obviously, he's a returner, so he he knows how to find the ball and comfortable finding the ball in the air. But great job executing this. Being on different levels when you're in man coverage, that's how you avoid pick routes, and then getting over the top and finishing the play. And once again, it's a fourth quarter, you know, 520 left on the clock. So that's a big time interception you get your offense on a plus 34 yard line. You should be able to get down there and get some points. Yeah, they got a field goal. On that. Yep, yep. Let's go. That's a lot of red. Great job, Keyshawn. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, a yeah. lot of Chiefs fans. Bunch of Chiefs fans. Right red. There. Oh. Mm -hmm. Got to travel Lambo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Massive, massive game. I have to travel Lambo. At what point uh, with Sky Moore do you think they're just going to kind of because this this is big because and, and AQ you've been in those offensive meetings but we, especially when you have a quarterback like this and, and Patrick Mahomes in the media I'm not sure how he is behind closed doors but in the media he always says the right thing mm -hmm. he's never going to throw anybody in the bus a coach a player but when you kind of and we saw it early in the year with I think it was Devonte Adams ran like a. No, not Devontae. Um, the other receiver, he set the pick. Somebody ran it flat, and it was a pick six yeah. because he kind of stopped. Sometimes receivers will see, like, we got some shit dialed up. Ah, oh, they got us. He's not going to throw. Oh, shit, he threw me the ball. Mm -hmm. And you see these guys do it sometimes running deep. Quarterback throws it. They trust their guy. That's how you lose trust in your All right, get out of the bush, guys. They caught us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come on out. They got us. They got to just give up. They on got They're us. They're keeping 87 in the block on this one. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens when, you're, when, you're, when your tackles kind of stink. And... Uh, <laughs> You know, they got some good outside. Hey, Van Ness made Are you worried big, about it? Yeah. Van Ness made another oh, big oh, play. Yeah. And that was big. Donovan Smith uh, went out early with a neck injury, I think. Oh, so yeah. Backup tackle the whole game. Yeah, I think Van Ness just bullied him. Yep. He got a sack. He yeah. got a sack earlier. Dude. Gary had three sacks yeah, on Gary's Thanksgiving. So you worried about Chiefs? I should I am. I'm worried about them. You know, we know what their track record is. We know what they've done. We know their history. Um, but, the, you know, the, we're not used to seeing them lose these type of games. Um, in December. You know, this is the point where first eight weeks of the game, oh, they'll be all right, they'll be all right. But, uh, you know, it still is the Chiefs, still Patrick Mahomes, still Andy Reid, but, you know, not worried about him. I mean, I am worried about him. Sorry about that. Okay. Well, here's a team you might be worried about. Ooh, uh-oh. Hey, hey, Detroit Lions, great, great, great play design here with this motion. You got, uh, what's this, 20, it's be 20, 21 little. So you got two running backs, no fullback. Tight end, two wide receivers. You got Laporta up here. But this motion, I believe this is uh, cover three with the, with the corner up here pressing on that, you know, that cut split receiver. So that's a corner pressing, cover three. So he's deep third. I believe Tyran Matthew will be the flat defender. And this motion from Jameer Gibbs, 
kind of takes his eyes, right? He's the flat defender, and flat defenders are also responsible for those out and ups. They're responsible to be up under those seven routes. So he takes his eyes with Gibbs coming across the motion, and you got Laporta is going to find that void in the defense. I mean, oh, wide ass geez. open. Boom. And that's brilliant from that's, Ben Johnson. That's, that's great. And, and the corner helped him out to that side because a lot of times when you're playing cover three, as a cornerback, if I have one receiver, a lot of times you just get up there mm -hmm. and press it. Like, all right, it's, it's, it's mostly man-to-man -man coverage anyway, unless that guy, that receiver up there just runs it under. You just kind of zone it off. But once that top receiver runs vertical, you can kind of man it. And then once again, it'll be on that flat defender to sink back. But, I mean, Laporte, the timing of it, first down, uh, Jared Goff leads the league in first down play action and with completion percentage, yardage, mm -hmm. all that. And you see a lot of these chunk plays too. Sam Laporte, who's on pace right now to like break pretty much all the rookie tight end record. Chad, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, and that's when the Saints were kind of coming back too. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like we needed that one Big to get play. this one going. Late, yeah. in the late in the third quarter. It's brilliant though because as soon as he gets past him, it's no longer his responsibility. Nope. Right? And you you kind of end up with two guys, you know, kind of covering grass, honestly, with um, double D. Then the back of here, this he guy's kind of settled. Out. Yeah, because you got everybody pretty much playing zone except that corner up top who just said, "Hey, I'm going to press it and man it," and that's the area that becomes vacated at deep mm. third. Ben Johnson, Ben, that's a brilliant play design. Yeah, yeah. Well, gives motion too. Great timing Great for play. it too. Yeah. And then yeah. Laporta kind of, you know, just being patient with it too. And that, mo but I think the biggest part of his play, honestly, was the yep. Jameer Gibbs motion. It's so he's not like you said he was playing it man because there's one wide receiver that side yep. and cover three. What, if the motion coming that way, should they should, he shouldn't have bumped out of that technique. Personally, if you rewind it to the, uh, if you can go to the beginning of the wide shot. Well, there's no cover zone, D. But you've talked about it like five yards usually. Like you, hey, you. Let him throw that, and you react, and you yep. gang tackle. Don't don't jump a guy, you know, within yeah. five yards. Yeah, so that's a no cover zone. That's a rally and tackle. But honestly, and I, I've been this, oh, this situation personally, when it's a guy like Jameer Gibbs mm -hmm. or Jamal Charles or Alvin, don't Carrera, want to give him like, that much space. Yeah, right? you yeah. want as little space as possible. And what, as a corner, if you sorry, if you go back to the beginning, Pat, when the tight end is that close. That's kind of when I would back up and just play it as a zone because I have another threat that can potentially be into my deep third. Now, when he's wide off, we call it, when he's in that off formation, typically that's not where tight ends will run deeper routes. Once again, another great job by Ben Johnson, you know, with the formation, that late motion, and then just executing and doing the play. Tough, tough play when that, especially when that corner gets up in the press. Genius. And that's uh, that's two nine. That's a Devo. So I'm sure it's on film that he likes to get up and get his hands on guys. It could be a New England next year. Yeah, he yeah. could be. That means you would have to move on from Bill. That'd be a big decision. Yeah, yeah. I want it. Decision. That'd be a big decision. I want it. Bill might be here, right? If some yeah. People, if we, some people yeah. are saying Commanders. Obviously, got a lot of money yeah. over there. Pick. I mean, I don't know. My, Michael Parsons could have made this throw. I, Michael could have <laughs> made this one. I believe on this one. We agree. I don't. He could, probably could have called this defense better as well because no deep safety after the motion. Gee, this was... safety rotates down. The only deep safety is on the complete opposite side of the field. Tyreek fucking Hill. Like I don't know how this happens. Third and two. That's you got Hill. one. <laughs> that's Tyreek. That's the cheater right there. You got one <laughs> DB responsible for him. He completely whiffs. This looked like when I was going over this earlier with Bruce. He's like, bro, this is like some high school shit. Ooh. Yes, it does. You fired your. You fired your DC. Whoever's calling the plays. Whoever dialing up. Like this is. Oh, I mean, yeah. like, Balls what is in the this? air so quick. Like what is this? Yeah, he's, he's looking because pre-snap two of C's, okay. It's no deep safety. Maybe this corner, maybe they're doing some inverted deep half. Nope. <laughs> no, and Tyreek said after the game, I mean, I appreciate you guys basically for yeah. you know, disrespecting me. But, <laughs> like, like, what is Absurd. that? Absurd. Like, 32, that he thought he was going to jump it. He thought he was going to run some of the sticks or something probably. <laughs> like, what are we doing? That's Riverboat wrong, some help baby. Over top. That's Riverboat wrong. Boy, That's John. right. Mm -hmm. He will roll the dice. Yeah, is he man. calling the plays right now? He might even, not he even might know be. who Tyreek Hill is. Could, it might, it might be oh, right. this guy's pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we should cover that. Why don't we have that guy on our team? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been an MVP of the fucking MVP conversation right now. Like, I mean, Flores calls good offense now. Man, that guy's really good. Oh, shit. <laughs> we should think about who it. Who is that guy? And then the last one, game winner for Speaking our Speaking of a guy really good. Uh -huh. OT, so once again, the offense knowing what the defense is going to be. And a lot of times, at this point in the game is overtime. The game plan is in. We've seen what these guys are. They were already in this situation earlier in the game, so they knew they were going to get man-to-man -man coverage. So you motion over. And this is one of those uh, Peyton Manning specials. You got man-to-man -man and what beats man-to-man -man combo coverage when you're passing off routes. The worst thing for that are double in-breaking routes or double out-breaking routes. They send Pierce underneath, 
Michael Pittman acts, pretends like he's going outside and turns it up to like a bang eight. That corner on the outside, pass it off. Now he's outside leverage. Gardner Minshew puts it on the money. Big Michael Pittman, 11 receptions, over 100 yards. Seals the game, big time win over divisional rival Tennessee Titans. Game win on third and goal in OT. Steichen's, I mean, that's yeah. absurd. That's genius, too. Yeah, Steichen's. That's knowing what, that's knowing what you're going to get on tape. Be prepared for it. Hell of a route, too, though. Watch out. I mean, from the, you could, Pittman gets his head right back mm-hmm. to Gardner, too, like yep. letting him know, hey, here we go. Big body, too. Big body, those, those you know, throws in the Sells rear. it outside. Yep. Sells like, oh, yeah, I'm going to run to the corner. And then, boom, as he turns back, his head gets right back to Gardner. Yeah. You watch. Minshew puts it on him. Yeah. Too. Bam. Good throw. Seed. Man. Ball player. Good, Good execution ball player. right there, man. Nice patience, too. Like, look at this. Okay, here we go. Only a two man across. route, too. Yeah. You know, so That's we can it. protect. You got to win. It's two man. Once again, a double, double, double ins or double outs. That's the toughest thing on the combo because if Pittman just goes flat, Pierce comes in, we both pass it off. We both got great leverage. But if, if uh, you know, let's say Pierce went flat and then Pittman went deep seven, now that inside guy will have the bad leverage. But great execution right there with some big receivers. Yeah, yeah. That was really good.